Okay, so for the base of the micro gripper block, I'm going to be using this uh, 12 mil thick stock of ply I've got laying around. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double it up on each one. I'm actually only going to be making one for this video, obviously. Um, I'll have two at the end, but you're only going to see me making one. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to double these up, uh, to one on top of the other, and that's going to create the thickness of the base. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to rip this down on the table saw. Now I need to cut it down to 20 centimeter lengths. Now we need to go ahead and glue those together. While we wait for that to dry, I'm going to be using this thin piece of uh, stock ply. I'm not sure how thick it is actually. It's, uh, very, very thin, I believe. Uh, it's about four mil thick. But I'm going to be using this. I've got a bit of it laying around. Um, I've had it for quite a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of this to make a template for the handle. Uh, the reason why I'm going to be making a template is because I thought it would come in handy for future projects, especially if I make a few more of these uh, little jigs. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so what I want to do with this template. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to measure out 20 centimeters, which is, as we know, the length of the base plate of the block. And then I'm just going to measure in about three centimeters each side. Give me a rough idea of how big I want my handle to be. You should give me a guide to work with. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this good old fashioned compass. <laughs> Now we should have our template. Okay, so this is the next day and all the glue has dried on the base plate to the jig. So that's nice and well stuck together. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out the template to the uh, handle and then we're going to apply that to some more bits of ply and then cut out the actual handle and glue that together. We're going to do the same as we did before with this piece. We're going to take two pieces, glue them together and then they're going to be attached to this plate here.
Now with the handle dry, all I'm going to do is round off these edges. Now I could do it on the router table, but I've decided uh, I want it still quite chunky. I don't want the, the corners to be too round really. So what I'm going to do is just round it off by hand with a bit of sandpaper. Okay, so what I've done now is I've marked off the points where the screws are going to go through the bottom base plate into the handle. Now. I will need to put those in first because I'm going to have to countersink them in slightly and I'm going to have to put the um, foam pad over the top of the screws. So what I'm going to do is I'll screw those in so far, I'll put some glue on the bottom of the handle and then go drive them all the way in. Okay, so now we need to cut the foam to size. Um, if you're wondering what these clamps are for, unfortunately I probably should have um, pre-drilled these holes. I did get a little bit of cracking, which isn't too much of a problem. We'll just put some extra glue in there. They're, they're nice and tight on there, because the, the screws are holding them, and obviously the glue's gonna also um, attach it nice and firmly. But just to um, just to help the little cracks that have uh, been created, I've just whacked some glue in there, and if, if it sort of starts to come out, I'll just put some more in there, but it's not a problem. It's, uh, it's on there very firmly, so it shouldn't come off. Um, but so, you know, if, if you do get that sort of instant where you see it start to crack, just uh, just throw a drill in there and try, just pre-drill the, pre the holes first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place this uh, jig on the actual uh, foam, and then I'm gonna cut around it. Okay, so to stick this on, what I decided to use is this messy old contact adhesive that you've probably seen me use a few times. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a generous helping on here. Try and get the lid on, back on before it all goes oh God, all over the place. This stuff is so horrible. Such messy stuff. Now what we're going to do is I'm just going to wipe this over. I probably too. I always tend to use too much, <laughs> so I probably use too much again. Got one of those things, unfortunately. Going to run this over. Make sure you get to right up to all the edges. Okay, so you just need to leave that for. A few minutes, whatever it says on here, always read the instructions and use the guidelines. So wait approximately 15 minutes. See you in 15 minutes. Okay, let's go ahead and apply foam. Just to make sure it's nicely on there, I'm gonna make just gonna clamp it to this board here to create a sandwich. Okay, now that all the glue is dried uh, and the pad is nice and firmly on the uh, ply board, we need to go ahead and test it and uh, hopefully it'll work and it'll push the wood through. Really, what I should do is try it with some uh, planed wood so it's against a smooth surface and against some rough. Uh, saw on something like I don't know, a bit like a pallet or something like that, and try it on that because that'll probably grip quite well to it. But we should really test it on two different types of wood. So that's what we're going to do now. Go ahead and give it a quick quality test. Okay, so first we'll try it with the uh, rough timber. Well, that worked pretty damn well. Quite impressed with that. Just going to reduce that a little bit more. Now time for the smooth timber. Smooth on the back so it grips is what I'm getting at.
again, worked brilliantly. Okay, so there you have it, a cheap alternative to the grip block. And when I say cheap, I really do mean cheap. I mean, the ply was just scrapped I had laying around anyway, and this, this foam stuff is just cheap as chips for a huge roll of it. So, uh, yeah, I, do, I keep finding lots of different uses for this, this foam as well, which is fantastic, because I didn't think I would. Um, I, so like I said before, it's, it's useless for um, lining toolboxes because it slides up all over the place because it slides against the metal because the me metal's too smooth and um, it's, it's shiny and it, it just doesn't grip very well, especially when it's got heavy tools on it. So the, the weight of the tools pushing it along the metal. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's, it's got some fantastic uses, uh, mostly for you know gripping timber like what I've used for my uh, bench cookies. But um, definitely gonna have to make another one, maybe two of these, maybe even three. You know, have um, two sets of two. Uh, but, or two pairs rather, shall I say, <laughs> two sets of two, two pairs, um, but, but yeah, fantastic, cheap alternative, and uh, I mean, I don't know how much the gripper block actually costs, um, I've seen the website, but I didn't actually take note of the um, the actual cost, I just wanted to get an idea of what sort of, you know, what the sort of general dimensions of it was, I mean, don't get me wrong, it won't be as good as a, a, a gripper block in, in the terms of, I think they advertise it as, you can put it on your uh, your wheelable, wheelable, um, uh, tables on you could push it around with the block I mean I probably wouldn't do that but um, but as far as pushing timber over a, over a saw blade looks fantastic so um, yeah definitely one to bear in mind if you actually want to grip a block just make your own don't buy one just make your own it's so much cheaper <laughs> fantastic um, so uh, there you go another project and um, like I said it is a pr shop project I did promise that and uh, it has uh, turned into one so um, thanks for watching um, and please remember to subscribe if you haven't already and give me the thumbs up because it's always uh, funky to have a thumbs up and please check out my Facebook page um, I'm going to try and put some more stuff on there uh, later on actually uh, and I'll continue to put stuff on there so until next time take care